Great. Another movie about running. Well, this isn't a movie. This isn't some on your left Captain America gag. This is a real story of a small man with a big goal of running 490 kilometers in seven days. And who was crazy enough to allow us to film the whole thing. The lows, the highs, and everything else. This is how we filmed a mini documentary for Lululemon. So that's Juno, the subject of the doc. Now if you've watched any of our videos, you've seen this guy. He's popped in and out every once in a blue moon. That's Reed. He directed this project. Actually, it was his idea. I talked through the project with him a few days after we wrapped, and it went like this. My idea was having multiple athletes and multiple people. He would have been one of the characters for the concept. Now you have this massive <laughs> undertaking by one person. How do you make such a crazy concept change? Bring it down to one character, you just had to adapt, and you really had to get in the mind frame of this character. I feel like the vibe and the tone of it, we knew immediately that it was gonna be a good fit. We really wanted to highlight the mental toughness and like the preparation and the perseverance that you have as an everyday athlete. So yeah. rather than, you know, you're a multi-million dollar athlete that's playing in arenas every night. This is for the people that wake up at four in the morning to fit in a run before work. It was torrential downfall. It was freezing. We're just getting out of winter here in Canada. <laughs> we didn't join him on the first two days. <laughs> it was just me in the car. <laughs> Slept in a car, put a garbage bag in the camera, and just kind of winged it. And uh, the first few days were tough, but then the weather kind of opened up. How do you build that story of it when it's just someone running on a road where we live is flat prairies? Yeah. So if we'd shot every moment of every day for all five days, it would have been, mm -hmm. you know, it wouldn't have um, showcased how grand of an achievement that is. Whereas like the in-between moments show who he is the as a the person. Exactly. Right. One of the main things that I really wanted for this project is for Juno to watch it and for every moment be like, that's me. Yes. That is genuinely me. Yeah. And not make him, you know, feel or look like something he's not. This first shot of Juno running, uh, we'll see it a few times throughout. This was funny because this was full on pouring rain, early morning. I think I was driving, you were in the car. Yeah. And then Austin was hanging outside the back of the car. Yeah. This wasn't rigged properly, but we made it work. <laughs> One of the biggest strengths of the story aspect of this film are the extra days that we got with Juno yeah. after he finished his run. He wanted the best told story for him, so he allowed us to come at like 4 a.m. and film him doing his normal run. We texted him, we're like, it's raining, it's pouring, and he's like, well, I'd go anyway. It's like, all right, us too. Okay, us <laughs> too, let's go. I really wanted shots of people at the gym training. I wanted them uh, taking ice baths and all these like really cool textured tight shots. Totally. And Juno's like, I do none of that. I barely train, I just run. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Which is great. Like this is another That's way of showing that. It's like, obviously it's helpful that the dude starts running at like 3.34 in the morning. So we get that blue and teal look. It was amazing. It looked awesome. Then the day we show up, it's like basically hail raining. Our attention span is pretty low as a team collectively. Um, so you'll notice in this video that there's almost, I think, four or five different pacing changes. Yeah. And that was intentional. That was very much to, you know, keep your, keep your eye on the screen and keep your eye on the story. Um, so now at this scene, we're slowing it down and we're really kind of setting the mind frame that Juno is in at the start of the run. Okay, okay, okay. You've seen enough of this video. Our documentary, A Big Run, is live right now on our YouTube channel. Check it out. You'll love it. See you next time.